it's Monday, I am in the studio, it's half past nine, Charlie is already here, she's printing off um, everybody's address labels from their orders that you guys posted through last night. Ta-da! The response to the new website um, was really amazing, so thank you to any of you guys that took the time to check it out. Um, click through and have a kind of look at the design and the pages, it's most appreciated and also of course if you place an order, thank you too, it means a lot and uh, we've got a busy day today getting those packed and shipped. So I also have another helper in the studio today, <laughs> looking shocked, <laughs> we're joined by our dad. No one gets any help from me. <laughs> <laughs> Dad is here um, helping pack orders and also he has been measuring my um, wedding finger with all of these ring sizes because um, he's actually making mine and Jack's wedding bands which is really special and really exciting. having lunch outside because the sun has decided mm. to come out. So today is avo on toast with hummus and look at that ta-da-da! -ta -ta. Um, and one of the squash fritters that Jack made yesterday each and some salad. Yum so yum! Squashed. They're really nice. Good. Squash-alicious. Squash-alicious indeed. So I have got these guys to sew up which is kind of the bane of my life but also there's no reason for it to be because it's not that difficult. I just have decided that I really hate sewing. Um, so every time someone orders one, thank you very much, totally love it when you order things from my shop and very much appreciate every order, but also I'm like, oh God, I've got to sew a moon cushion. But to be fair, Charlotte stuffed like what, 20? Yeah. 20, I sewed <clears throat> 20 and then she stuffed them all. So technically half the job is done for me. I just need to sew up that tiny hole and tag them. But that's what I'm going to be doing now. And I tagged them, so... And Charlotte tagged them, so yeah. I've got to do that now because these guys were ordered yesterday by lovely customers. It is... what time is it? Quarter five. Quarter five. <laughs> Quarter to five, and Charlie has finished! Oh. <laughs> Delirious. <laughs> Just punched the lamp off the ceiling. <laughs> she spent eight hours solid today packing all of your orders, so Charlotte definitely deserves a medal. <laughs> Just eating a rice cake with chocolate on because super hungry, and made it to the post office in time, which was amazing, even though they were a bit funny about the tracked item I had, they apparently changed the way they do things. Don't know if you hear that, Shmomo sneezing in the background, as he does. Um, but now I'm in the studio with, ta -da, Rosie, who is one of my pals. She does pottery with me, which is ace, and she's also creative, so hopefully she'll be doing the Etsy craft fair with us in December too, but yeah. Rosie's just come over after work before I go to kickboxing to have a nice little catch up and I'm going to sit and pop all of these totes uh, in their cellophane bags and tag them all up because I'm running low. It's half past seven and Rosie is gone. Um, I need to get my butt to kickboxing. I've got no excuse really. Again, don't want to go but I've had a really busy day and I really do enjoy it. Did you film any kickboxing? Don't know. Didn't get it out. Had a bit of a grumpy start to the sesh. Um, but it was actually really good to partner with Gladys. She is awesome, so that was fun. And then we did three or four rounds of circuits at the end. And we normally do two, so that was kind of killer. But just got back and surprise, surprise! Jack has made me a really nice dinner because I'm very lucky. Today we have a lentil red Thai curry. Morning. It is Tuesday. It's just gone nine o'clock. I have a few orders to pack um, before I head out to an accountant. I have always done all my accounts myself, but I'm at a point now with my business where I think it's wise to basically get the advice of slash hire an accountant to manage um, 
the kind of incomings and outgoings and tax and that sort of side of my business. I don't know what to expect and I'm kind of scared, it's really silly isn't it, but like, yeah, my accounting system currently is just a spreadsheet which I update every so often when I have to like sift through huge piles of receipts and stuff, it's not very organised, so I'm, I think I'm more scared that they're going to give me a slap on the wrist, but um, we shall see. I just need to go in there and tell it how it is <laughs> and listen to what advice they have. It's 12 o'clock and I've just had an hour with the accountant and uh, yeah, I now have an accountant, which is really exciting. Um, she, Susie, was super lovely and uh, yeah, they're gonna basically get me sorted out and I think I'm gonna move over from being a sole trader to a limited company. So that's kind of big. Just off to um, Coffee Lab now to meet Helen, um, who is a fellow Etsy seller and it's also really hot and I'm melting in this stupid dress because it's really thick and kind of wintry. <laughs> Finally, these guys are going red. Couldn't be more excited for that. Look at them. Also, these guys don't appear to be changing yet. Oh, those guys. Very exciting though. And, little aubergine flower. It's very cute and purple. And this guy's an actual aubergine, look. Look at that. Stripey. None here, because a naughty cat knocked him off on this plant that was growing. Oh, so sassy. Looney's just guarding the cucumbers, uh, of which we have a million. Look, out of nowhere, baby cukes. Today has been pretty crazy. <laughs> I feel like I haven't stopped. I got back from town and Kate and the kids popped over and it's always lovely to see them um, and Kate delivered me with this. It's not actually filled with chocolates. <laughs> Look at that! It's like an enormous amount of amazing confetti. Um, it's basically all the offcuts from her incredible pinatas. Thank you Kate, you are the best. Classic me, running late, as usual. Um, I have just got to get ready really quickly, get to the gym, do legs, bums and tums, maybe do the outside boot camp if the abs is running again straight afterwards. Maybe even film it because I got a right telling off last week from abs for not filming it. Um, and then after that, finally I've managed to book a proper sports massage for my back and shoulders with someone a friend recommended. They fit me in last minute. I look almost as good now, having had a shower, as when I finished my class. Look at this face, I promise I'm not naked. Um, yeah, I just had a shower because the second class was actually cancelled, so I actually got a chance to head back home, um, have a shower, put some comfies on, and now I've got about 10 minutes before I've got to head out for my sports massage, which I'm really looking forward to because my shoulders and my back feel like all of the muscles are tangled all over on top of each other and underneath each other where they shouldn't be. So here's hoping an hour of being punched and pummeled will sort me out. Yeah, mummy. Marginally better <laughs> and ready to go. Morning team, it's Wednesday. Um, it's just gone half past 10. I have been faffing around in the bedroom doing uh, some admin kind of work, just sat on the bed. 
and I just thought now that I would, before I get stuck into all the other work I need to do today, because it won't take long and because I need to do it, film a really short video of me um, propagating my pillias because I gave a baby pillia that I'd propagated from the big mama um, to Nikki a few weeks ago now and it's doing so well in her house and it's got really big and it's sprouted off a whole load of babies as well which is awesome and she asked me yesterday on Twitter how she can propagate them so I gave her like a short description but then I thought actually I get questions all the time about this sort of thing so I'm going to do a little video just to upload today hopefully um, that will kind of show you guys um, how to easily propagate your pillias and as Nikki is gonna do hashtag pillia pay it forward which is really cool so share them with your friends and stuff so I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna get on with some actual work this is my setup so I'm going to use the camera I'm talking to now, but with my new tripod, um, I'm just going to do it all on this box here, and I've got my jars um, ready to pop the baby pillias in, a knife, and more importantly, the big old pillia that needs chopping. So I film a little pillia video, tucking into a chalky rice cake because I'm nothing if not predictable. I kind of have to clear up this soily, gravelly mess that I have on the floor, and I'm avoiding it. Mmm. Just had some exciting and some not so exciting post. I absolutely hate it when these drop back through my door. This is a return to sender because the customer has evidently not provided the correct address which is very irritating, <laughs> it's a real shame. So it went to the United States and it's come back to me. I mean, it's good that it's come back because I'd rather have the stock back and be able to resend it and contact the customer than it be floating around in the ether. This is exciting. This looks like it might be something from Katie. How gorge is this cute wrapping? Like, look at the attention to detail. Um, Katie is a lovely person and she's super talented and she makes beautiful products. Um, lots of different wedding um, gifts, invitations, banners, sashes for Hindus, badges, mirrors, all sorts. Katie is amazing and she's a lovely person too. So I'll link to her shop below. Oh, just look. These are all like hand stitched. And it's got confetti in it. Oh. Thank you, Katie. You're a babe. How beautiful is this? It's like blush pink and just stunning. Look. Thank you so much, Katie. I cannot wait to have this on display at our wedding in less than seven weeks' time. Morning, it's Thursday. It's half past eight and my studio is a tip. <laughs> so I probably need to sort that out this morning first before Charlotte gets here. Um, she's gonna do some vlog editing and pack some orders whilst I uh, get on with designing some new products and reordering some that are running low in stock. <laughs> Today I have mostly been battling with QuickBooks because accountancy is really fun guys um, and whilst I've handed loads of it over to the accountants I'm still doing the bookkeeping which is the bane of my life and QuickBooks is supposed to make it easy but like learning a new piece of software that is to do with maths and accounting has literally just been hell so I've been a stressy grump today hence why I haven't been filming but just cheered myself up laughing at myself and smashing my knee uh, trying to film a video inspired by my pal Gemma who posted a video of her doing a headstand um, and I was like oh, I could used to be able to do that I'll do it and I first attempt to smash my knee really hard on the door frame so that was really fun <laughs> <laughs>
But then second attempt, I kind of managed to semi-gracefully do it, but Momo joined me. Uh, anyway, now I've stopped faffing around, I'm in my gym gear and I am going to head out to Step and Tone. Jack has gone to Sainsbury's to buy some vegetables and we are going to have a new thing we haven't cooked before tonight um, from Minimalist Baker, who we flip in love because she's got a new recipe for noodleless pad thai and like sticky peanut tofu, which sounds amazing. So Jack is going to do that whilst I'm at the gym and I'm going to get a jog on because I've got to go. I got back from legs bump, no I didn't, didn't even do legs bump sometimes, I did step and tone today. Got back about an hour ago, maybe just before, half an hour ago, and I've been watching the cutest programme on Channel 4 OD, it's called Old People's Home for, mm, peanuts, Old People's Home for Four Year Olds, and it is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen, it's getting me right in the feels, oh. It's so sweet. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it on 4OD because it's just lovely. Anyway, Jack has made um, the recipe I was talking to you about earlier. Um, it looks amazing. Um, I'm really excited to try it. Um, I'll link to Minimalist Baker's recipe below so you guys can try it out too. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have my dinner. Good morning, it's finally Friday, um, which I'm sure Jack is very excited about, because freaking weekend tomorrow, but uh, it's half past eight, not even, quarter past eight? Twenty past eight, and uh, yeah, I've got to get ready because I am heading off to the New Forest, to um, a spa, Zen Spa at Carey's Manor, which I flip in love. Um, my mum, myself, and all of mum's cousins um, go every year. It's become like a tradition. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really nice um, catching up with the family and relaxing and enjoying all of the various relaxation pools and hydrotherapy stuff. So um, yeah, I've got to go meet mum there at nine, so I've got to get a jog on. Um, and I'm not even sorry that I'm wearing this dress again for probably the millionth time this week. Because <laughs> it's comfy and I've got a bikini on under here and it's just easy to pull on and pull off. But I think I am going to take my work stuff with me, just my laptop and my iPad, because sometimes I like to just do a little bit of designing. Something that isn't, like, no pressure basically. Just maybe, if I feel inspired, be able to do a bit of drawing. So, I'm going to go. Just arrived at the spa. <laughs> I'm hiding in a... Tiny cubicle changing room, ready to go. But you're not allowed to use cameras or phones in here. And I also don't want to accidentally capture someone naked. So here I am. Um, yeah, gonna put my camera away now because it's time for a bit of relaxation. Being relaxed. Just got to our room. Look, it's very nice. And we have a nice little garden out here. Little chairs and tables. And the sun is actually out. I can't quite believe it. I haven't seen the sun for <laughs> weeks, it feels like. We've also got crisp dark chocolate with orange oil. Orange chocolate is like my fave. And it looks like it's made in the new forest as well. So it's local and it's gold. Like a little, look, a little chocolate wafer. Definitely gonna have some now, even though I just had them. Very, very bright out here, which is amazing. Bit of sunshine. Catch some rays, eat my choc, it's really nice. And then might head back in the pool. So this is the spa. Um not actually allowed to take my camera in, like I said, so I thought I'd just show you kind of the facilities they have. Um, so we just had lunch in the Thai restaurant. Um, they've got a really nice swimming pool, they've got a little tiny sauna and steam room and a good jacuzzi. And then the actual spa facilities start here. So this hydrotherapy pool has like all different like 
targeted areas with different jets and stuff that like massage your muscles and waterfalls and like this like bed sort of metal metal recliner thing in the pool which is really nice it's really hot and lovely and then here you've got like this thing where you can pour ice cold water from a bucket with a rope over your head but also have this like experience shower with like plays like rainforest sounds and like thunder and lightning and flashes and lights and all the cool crazy stuff and then there's more experience showers which are less crazy um a really big steam room with the biggest crystal amethyst geode you've ever seen in it that's supposed to be good for health um and a massive sauna which uh has like laying down benches and stuff in it and loads of room which is really nice too and then upstairs you've got like these rooms which are kind of like roman baths this one, the floor is like heated, it's all mosaic in there and it's really nice body temperature so you can like lay on the floor and look at the ceiling and it's all covered in pretty twinkly stars. And then this room here has like reclining lounges but made out of mosaic and they're heated as well so you like feel like you're completely like relaxed and supported and then have a little snooze in there and it's really lovely. Uh, there's a studio where they do classes, but they didn't do any classes today or tomorrow that I wanted to do, so that's a shame. I like to do like body pump or something while I'm here usually. And then there's a nice gym, uh, a quiet room which is amazing, it's like dark in there and there's loads of every magazine under the sun and the really nice comfortable, like the most comfortable ever reclining chair sort of things that you can sit and read and nap and chill in. And then this room has all comfy chairs and mags and teas and coffees and refreshments and stuff like that you can just chill and chat and it's all really nice so yeah so that's it i have moved inside because i felt like i might even be burning laying out there um probably have burned so casper white um but anyway it is 10 to 4 dinner is at Seven. Um, and I'm debating whether to go back in the pool, maybe pop my like swimming costume on and do some proper lengths or maybe head to the gym before dinner because let's be honest, I'm never going to go to the gym after dinner, I'm going to be so full but I'm still kind of full from lunch. Swim or gym? <gasps> I decided on the gym so I'm going to do that now and then maybe join mum in the pool Double whammy. Hopefully I've got enough time for both. It's only four o'clock. Got three hours until dinner. Like a mime, that's what Jack does in the background, just goes. I don't know what the time is, I've got a watch on. She doesn't know what time it is. I do. It's four o'clock. So with any luck I'll have time to go for a swim and the gym. Well I will, because I'm not gonna be in the gym for three hours, am I? Good lord. No. De I hope not. Definitely not. Do have to sort out this though, because this is looking quite spectacular and I haven't even got sweaty yet. I did a gym, but you already know that. Um, it's actually a really nice little gym here. It's quite good. There's loads of mirrors everywhere so you can check your form and stuff, which I really like. Because at our gym in town, like, there's only kind of one section with mirrors and it's always really busy. But yeah, little diddy one had lots of good equipment. So had a good little workout, focused on core. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to go for a swim. going to put my actual costume on so I don't have a repeat of earlier. Um, when I'm actually trying to swim because bikinis are not practical for doing anything either other than bobbing around anyway so yeah go for a swim have some more time in the sauna maybe steam room and then in half an hour I've got to come back have a shower get ready for dinner so gymmed saunaed steam roomed swimmed and had a nice shower popped some makeup on and ready to head out to dinner with everybody <music> Super lovely. 
I, as usual, ate way more food than anybody else because I just can't see it wasted. So I ate like six slices of bread. It was really good. It was like freshly baked and sourdoughy and really nice. And then we had this like, well, you saw, you just saw, there's all the pictures. Then we had all those millions of courses and I shared the two desserts with mum, but basically I ate both of them myself. And then when we just had peppermint teas in the lounge, I ate fudge and petit fours. So basically need to rein it in a bit. And I've just snaffled the biscuits that were in our little mini bar and put them in my bag for tomorrow because I can't not. But look how pink my eyes are. The chlorine from the pool. Anyway, bedtime now, and uh, probably gonna call it a day actually, because there's no point filming Saturday, it just makes the vlog drag on and on and on. So, I will see you on Monday. Bye! -bye.